All right, welcome back to another video. Heading out again, heading back over by Pam. Uh, and I'll probably be there till the weekend. You know, getting the kids out the house early in the morning for school. All right, now my son is gonna pick up the sister. And, uh, you know, just again, trying to get them to start off their summer school uh, correctly, getting to school on time. You know, um, so yeah, gonna be doing more videos as the days uh, come and go. As you know, they just don't stop. Now, right now, I gotta go pick my medication, so uh, I know they're going to engage in a uh, psychological operation to elicit the fight or flight phenomenon, and uh, you know. Definitely going documented. Definitely, definitely going documented. All right. So let's see what scheme they got on in there. Oh, the FedEx guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> the FedEx guy. Yeah. The FedEx guy. All you gotta do is look at the hand signals when they're talking. They get very animated with their hands when they see me. All right? So, that's what you gotta look out for. It's the hand movement, the hand gestures. how they do these things, right? It's guy that's cool. All right? Anyhow, and their uh, scripted conversations. Uh, okay, so here's the thing uh, that I, I was speaking to my son and I said to him, um, you know, because I still have an old processor there with a motherboard and um, I had a power supply. I had, oh shoot, I forgot the other storage, but I, I got a uh, storage and uh, just I uh, got some RAM. So I was asking my son, I said, do you, any of your friends that you, uh, yeah, you should have a school, do they need a computer? I said, because, you know, you can donate a computer to one of them if they want it, you know? All right. And, you know, also teaching him to, you know, and, but, uh, and do things for his friends that are uh, positive, you know, and particularly, you know, since, you know, like I said, they've been conditioning people, particularly us black people, to be a selfish AF. You know, it's like we feel like we can't, if we have to something for somebody, then we have to get something back in return. And it's, that's, that shouldn't be the case. If you are, uh, if you're a kind person, if you're a considerate person, it's okay to do something for somebody that may be uh, uh, less fortunate or maybe uh, don't have the knowledge about certain things that they may need. And I said, you know, he's your friend too. So, you know, they can play with you online too, you know? So, you know, I know these things are like foreign concept to a lot of us. We've been conditioned, like I said, with this self-centeredness, this selfishness, this individualistic mindset. So I said, you know, listen, if you have a friend and you know, your, fr your, you know, your friend has taught you, he maybe cannot, uh, uh, his parents cannot afford to get him a computer, and you can donate this one. I, I have the parts, you know, so why not, uh, you know, but I just got the RAM, so why not just build a, a computer and donate them? You know, that way, you know, they'll have to, his parents have to buy the monitor and the keyboard and mouse, but, you know, that's the least of it, you know, so, yeah, trying to, you know, you got to teach your kids to be kind, but you don't teach your kids to be pushovers, you know. And uh, for me, in my experience, it's particularly in, the, in our community where you have uh, the vast majority of black children are being raised in single household headed by women. You know, th those things don't, are not taught, right? But again, uh, at least in the sense in which... Um, you know these kids can when they when they get as they get older 
you know, they're able to give back, right? And it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be big. And I always tell my, I always tell my, um, uh, my kids that, I said, you know, it's always good to give back. You know, it doesn't have to be big. Sometimes a little kindness here and there goes a long way. You know, people appreciate it, all right? And my daughter's birth, birthday, she had a birthday party in school yesterday. And as I was leaving, you know, I was asking people, they, you know, these parents, their kids, if they want a cupcake. You know, the first person I asked her, like, no. Uh, the second person I asked, she said no too, but the, her kids was like, yes. So I was like, okay, you know. I mean, obviously she see me come out of school with the, cup, with the cupcake. They're in containers, <laughs> right? And so I uh, ended up giving them uh, cupcakes, you know? It doesn't hurt you to be kind to somebody. You know, it doesn't hurt you to be courteous to somebody. You know, but like I said, you can't be a pushover. You can't let people treat you badly and you treat them good. You have to treat them in the same manner and the same respect as they treat you, good or bad. All right? If we don't do that, we're just teaching our children to be pushovers, particularly our male children. Because a lot of these uh, young females are growing up to be selfish, self-centered, worse than young boys. All right? I mean, you can see what's going on right now. You know, and I couldn't believe what I, what I saw. Also, you know, you have black women, because uh, they were talking about Kiki Palmer and the dress that she wore with disrespect for her, her man in her relationship. And uh, a lot of these black women were like, um, shit, I'm going to miss my bus. A lot of these black women were like, you know, it's a shame that black women have to, you know, uh, feel pressured to be respectable and I was like wow wow they literally think that they have they are being pressured to be respectable as if respectable and respectability is a bad thing you know what I'm saying jeez oh, oh here's my favorite number seven three two four all right freeze them I guess I must be frozen oh hold on I got to the I'll be the next one. Just try to do the damn thing. And he knew I was going to release my question. That's a good thing I got to pick up my daughter. I'm sending her to pick her up. Hey, I thought you guys were 